Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Hanif Rastiawan and today I represent my team to share our work entitled Experimental and Chemical Study of Free Fatty Acid Extrification derived from Seba Pentandra Seed Oil with Ethanol. For the introduction, of course, today, recently, the energy needs of transportation and industry is a very reliable, is a very dependent on the fossil fuel. So biodiesel is one of the alternative energy which can be used to replace the fossil fuel since it is a renewable, harmless, safe, and biodegradable. There are various types of non edible oil as a bi which can be used as biodiesel sources such as yam plum seed oil, used frying oil, rubber seed oil, castor oil, rice bran, and copper seed oil. The copper seed oil is a very prospective non edible oil since it's content and so that 71 percent fatty acid now, however it still have FFA content more than two percent so it needs a, an esterification process to remove its exit previous study on capital seed oil is already studied by several researchers such as Federas, Rashid, Bukhari and Slitonga however kinetic study of FFA esterification of copper oil using ethanol has not been reported yet the material used in here we have crude copper oil obtained from Pati Jawa Tengah and the chemical used are ethanol, potassium, hydrotex, phenol, phthalate, and oxalate acid. We have one, two, three, four, five different uh, five consecutive process. First is the degunning process, second is the raw material analysis for esterification, fourth process, five kinetic study, and the last one we get the kinetic parameter from the best kinetic study. For the raw material analysis, we can see that the all parameters such as density, viscosity, viscosity, exit value, and acidity is decreasing after the gumming process. It shows that the gum is already removed from the raw materials. The effect of reaction time and temperature, we can see that on the left, on the left side, we, we can see the FFA content as a function of a reaction time on the right on the right on the right figure we can see the FFA conversion as a function of reaction time the FFA content is decreasing across the reaction time and however the FFA conversion is increasing significantly on the first 10 minutes and almost stagnantly increased from the 10 minutes to 120 minutes the first model, we have an irreversible first or kinetic model. You can see the equation on the right top. The reaction is quite a linear, is a linear equation. On the left, on the figure on the left side, we can see that the double fitting between the experimental and also the, the modeling of the equation. We can see the FS, the FS of some square of error is around 1 point, 0 0.1. The second model in here, we, we use uh, an irreversible second order kinetic model. The equation you can see on the right top, on the left side is the data fitting from the experimental data and the modeling itself. Uh, you can see the SSE is uh, quite much smaller compared to the first model. The SSE in here, the average is around 0 .005, 0 0.005. The last model, we use a reversible second order kinetic model. The equation is on the top. The left side is the data fitting between experimental data and the model. On the left, on the left side, we have the constant, uh, the constant for uh, kinetic parameter, and also the SSE. The SSE is uh, quite higher a little bit. The average is so maybe around 0.0. .0 0.05 however on the second model we have a 0 0.005 so one tenth of the second model so we can conclude that the second model gave the best uh, kinetic modeling and the, 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 the fitting of a kinetic model to the data experimental so based on the second model we can get the kinetic parameter which is an energy activity and also the kinetic factor by using the left the uh, by using the figure on the left side we get the energy activity is a 17.74 kilojoule per mole and the kinetic factor is 1015.85 per minute 
for the conclusion, the conversion of free fatty acid is affected by the reaction time and temperature. Higher reaction time has higher reaction temperature increase the FFA conversion. The best FFA conversion obtained was 91.37% at reaction temperature of 70 degrees C and 120 minutes reaction time. The best kind of model to predict FFA conversion in this astrophysical model was an irreversible second order model with the reaction rate of SSC. 0.01125 and the R square of 0.65. The kinetics parameter of semiconductor esterification reaction with a 0.5 sulfuric acid catalyst had an energy activity of 17.74 kJ per mole and a kinetic factor of 2015.85 per minute. I think that's all for our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.